All right, guys, I'm going to show you all how to measure the odor with increment widths on uh, using ImageJ. And so once you open up ImageJ and open up an image, the first thing you'll need to do is install a macro that I made. So you will go to plugins and then you'll go to macros and then you'll click install and uh, you'll go to whatever folder uh, you have the macro in and it's called export all coordinates click open and another thing you might want to do if I can remember how to do this here is to um, set the scale and so I believe you go to set scale here and I don't know if this is uh, still accurate but in the past uh, we had uh, you know, one pixel, uh, or I'm sorry, 24 pixels. Was equal to one. And the unit, I'm going to use microns. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you put here. And I believe you might want to put global. And so the next step, um, since we've got our macro installed, is you're going to come up here and then you're going to click on this line right here. And it should give you an option to do a multi-line. You got to right click it. And so here's this segmented line. Now, with ImageJ, it can be a little funny to use, but uh, you got to be careful where you click. Uh, but to zoom in, you use the plus button over wherever your cursor is. All right, so uh, I feel pretty good here. And then if you want to move the image, you hold down spacebar and then you can drag it. Uh, but once again, you got to be careful about what you're clicking because you can uh, unclick things but to uh, do a uh, segmented line I might say that's the primordium uh, you know this is definitely not a great image uh, so I'm uh, just going to kind of breeze through this uh, because I'm, I'm sure whatever it is it's not right but uh, kind of seeing one here and so you just click each time you see one uh, don't right click don't click off of it if you need to come over here you know if you can see something better on the side you can do that the way that uh, it calculates the distances uh, you know it's, it's best to stay with the line but uh, you are able to go off the, the line if you need to uh, you know I can't really see what the hell's going on here uh, but let's just say you know that there's there's no uh, increments in between these and let's say there's one here and there's one here and then uh, I don't really see another increment it's probably there um, let's see now I've just uh, accidentally clicked one too many so I'll, I'll show you how to how to fix that so once you get to the last one, you want to right click. And you can move this, and I believe if you hit hold down Alt and you click it, it'll get rid of it. So I held down Alt and then I clicked, left clicked the bad point, and I was able to kind of save my progress. You know, and if, if I was to just click off of this right now, you know, left click over here, the whole thing would just disappear. Uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do is export these measurements and so I would go to um, measure here uh, so that isn't uh, exactly what we're wanting to see uh, but I think this might still work so um, and then I'll go to plugins and then I'll say uh, export all coordinates 
And so now you see what it's exported here. So it'll give you the, you know, the name of the image and it'll give you the first distance, second distance, all the way down. And then uh, it's some little issue with my macro, it puts a zero there. It's, it's, it's not an issue, it's, it's easily fixed. But you know, so the radius of this guy would be 64 microns. And hopefully if I look in the folder where this was, uh, which these are under up to lines. So now I've got this uh, file here. Each fish will have its own file. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but here's the, the final data. And I've got a script that can take multiple files and it'll merge them all into to one file, transpose them, um, and clean it up nicely. Uh, I mean, that's basically the gist of it. Um, I will say that it's, it's better to have all the images you want to do in the same folder uh, just because it's, it's more convenient. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you'll need to rename this each time you do that, but uh, you know, otherwise when you, when you go to open one of these files, you can easily just say open next, um, which, you know, in this case, it would open up this image, but you know, if, if we had all the images we wanted to do, it's kind of easier to just go up here and say open next. If they're in order, you can just kind of breeze through them that way. Otherwise, you can just go to open and just open up another image again. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want the file size to get too big, but uh, that's kind of the basic uh, way that I use to measure odolith increment widths.